Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to this uh, session of uh, TOT. Uh, today we give an update on uh, one of the um, logic that is uh, inside the TOT and that run internally in order to basically improve the user experience. And uh, in this case we talk about uh, self-healing, let's say, because uh, when TOT does not have knowledge about some package, then uh, it automatically learns on that. And how does uh, that is basically um, reading the reports from uh, advisor. And these reports contain, uh, for example, missing packages that are not solved yet. And in that case, uh, this is uh, known to TOT and automatically schedule these uh, solvers. And once the solvers are ready, uh, what we were doing uh, before is uh, basically sending a new message, which was, was called the uh, advisor rerun message that contain all the information related to the uh, advisor that needs to rerun because now all the packages that were not solved now are solved. And so we can provide the user with a new recommendation. Um, during the last sprint, basically we modified uh, a bit the logic for the parse solver output uh, task. So instead of uh, using a new message, we decided to basically get rid of this message, which is not used um, except for this case, and to in introduce a new logic that basically um, use the same um, message used to schedule advisor directly, which is the advisor trigger message. And uh, how do we do that? Basically, we um, modified the schema. I mean, you will see that there is no difference except for the new message, but uh, the real logic changed in the sense that um, now we can find out uh, uh, what user and uh, what inputs the user was using in that uh, stack. Now we know that all the packages are solved. And what we do, basically, we replicate uh, the logic that is also in the user API. So we create on Zeph the request, and then we send the message. In this way, we don't need to go basically through this new message, and we get rid. We simplify the logic, let's say because now we reuse uh, the same message and we remove the message that was uh, uh, not requested anymore. And that's uh, all for this. If you have any question, please go ahead. Uh, any repo repositories uh, to point out? So it's it's banning at least two or three repositories, right? Uh, yes, but the logic itself that uh, we focus on is in uh, workflow helpers. So if we have a look at the code in the parse solver output, which I was describing in the schema, now you can see that uh, um, basically, yeah, here, the logic is here. So once we check if all the packages are solved, now we know that the, this advisor can be rerun, so the packages are solved. And what we do now is uh, we get the previous inputs that the user already provided because they are stored in the request on Zeph. So we get them so we can reschedule exactly the same uh, as the user would do. Instead of uh, waiting for the user to run, we reschedule that for the, for the user and provide the answer. So when he is going to come back and ask again for that stack, then uh, it would receive the answer basically at that point. And as you see here, we basically recreate uh, a new ID. We store the same parameters with the new ID and uh, we send this message. Actually, we store this message that then is sent uh, out in the next task as we see here. Cool. Any other questions? Are these two, yeah, are, are yes. these two advice? Link then so so if you create a new completely new advice with a new ID is this um, obvious in in the advice that this has been run because of rerun um, yes because uh, the logic contains uh, this uh, ID so advisor trigger can run by default as it was a new request from from any user but if it's coming from, let's say, the internal system, we want to know that uh, that was rescheduled by TOT itself. So we provide basically the rerun advisor ID. So this was the old one um, that was uh, used before. 
And in this way, we can also uh, change the state in the database because now the system learned and we provided the answer back okay. to the user. So we don't need to go again on that logic. Okay, cool. Um, do we have a uh, service level objective for, for that one or service level indicator for the uh, how many reruns have been done or something like that? Mm, actually, no. Good question. And uh, okay. we can create an issue and uh, have this new metrics. Yes, I'm going to put it on the agenda of the tech talk because uh, I wonder what the service level indicator shall be. I mean, yeah, let's talk in the tech talk. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Um, Thank you very much. Any other question? No? Good. Thanks, Francesco. Thank you, everyone.